When I think of coral, I imagine somewhere colourful like the Great Barrier Reef or perhaps the Pacific Islands. But the corals you'd see out snorkelling are just a drop in the ocean. Most corals live in deep, cold waters, and until recently, few people, including scientists, knew anything much about them. Corals are animals, and the animals either live as colonies or as individuals. And what is the animal part? The animal part is a polyp. The, probably the best way to think about it is that uh, they're very similar to sea anemones, only generally much smaller, of course. What we're looking at here is skeletons rather than the animals themselves, because when you collect them, they, they either just die and shrivel up, or when you bring them up from deep water, which most of these have come from, the animal is washed off on the way. This is called bubblegum coral, for fairly obvious reasons. It looks like little bubblegum bubbles. Uh, they actually grow to, to be a very large size. They've been collected fairly recently from New Zealand, seven plus metres tall. This is just a branch from one of them. This is a cross section of the trunk of a very large bubblegum coral that was pulled up around southern New Zealand. So this is the trunk of the a piece of coral? Yes, a coral skeleton. How old yeah. would that coral be? Very old, I should think. The, the one thing that we do know is that when it comes to these, which are bamboo corals, um, they add about seven millimetres of diameter every 45 years. And measuring this indicates it's about 225 years old. Now, Simon, if you pick that up, you'll probably be quite surprised by the weight. It's so heavy. Very dense calcium carbonate goes into that. Feels like rock. Yes, it's as heavy as, it is as heavy as rock. Yep, yep, and it's very, very rigid. That, of course, is the stem part of a bamboo coral. It holds up the upper branches, which have more flexibility because the heavy pieces are joined by the little dark rings. Hence the name bamboo coral, of course. And what about these guys down here? Because they almost look like metal curtain rails. Well, despite that, they're not curtain rails, they are corals. These pieces are all pieces of one single coral. Uh, close look, you'll see where a row of side branches is actually broken off. They have a stand on the sea floor and they spiral up. They have a single row of branches coming out and because it's a spiral, they spiral, spiral round the coral itself. They get up to seven or eight feet tall. Now over here, we've got some black coral, nice shiny black coral. And it's a New Zealand species, um, a similar species to the one that we have here in the bus shelter. That's actually from Fiordland, that one. It was, interestingly enough, the black coral, when it's alive and healthy, is, is white rather than black because the entire skeleton is covered by the animal itself, the many thousands of polyps and their connective tissue, and they actually look white. Like the 66 known species of black coral, deep sea corals are under threat from offshore industries and higher acid levels in our seawater. So thankfully, some species have recently become protected. It's a real privilege to see these beauties from the deep ocean. There's still lots of species yet to be named, let alone discovered. <laughs>